Android app bundle and site loading APKs. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in the last few days, we have had some articles from major Android blogs about Android app bundle and how that starting 1st of August 2021, new apps are going to be submitted by the developers as Android app bundle. Now, that has created some questions amongst the viewers people who like to sideload APKs that what about sideloading so that is the topic which we are going to address in this video now a very important thing to note over here is that Android app bundle or AAB as they are starting to call it is applicable for only new apps so as of now any app which is submitted to the Google Play Store after 1st of August 2021 will have to be in this Android app bundle format again new apps only currently but the signals which I personally get from Google with all these changes of Android app bundle is that they might be turning into a walled garden like Apple anyways that is a topic for another video so let us talk about AAB and side loading for starters, let us try to understand what an APK is. So APK is an Android file format. It stands for Android package. It has been with Android since 2008 and it is essentially a zip file. So if you unzip it with any archive manager, say WinRAR or WinZip, you should be able to see some of the content and some of the resources, some of the XMLs, all those things. So it's essentially a zip file. Let us take an example of say an icon pack APK. You have various kind of Android devices, right? Some have say 720p displays, 1080p displays, 4K displays. So I'm just trying to give you a simple example. Let us say you have an icon pack which supports three different screen resolutions. That is the resolution of the images is based on the resolution of the screen of the device. Now in the APK situation, in the current situation wherein you have applications as APKs, this APK will contain code and it will also contain the images for those icon packs but it will have the images for all three resolutions so one single apk you can say download it from apk mirror or apk pure or for that matter from the google play store as well but it is one single apk which is installed across all devices it is up to the developer to support all those three screen resolutions and it is bundled inside one file now google sees this as a small issue it says that you have resources on a 720p device for say a 1080p icon pack images that is wasting storage wasting data the apk size has increased you don't need it similarly someone who has say a 1080p display he doesn't need the 720p icon images so that is google's logic they say it is wastage of space bandwidth size all those things so they came up with a new format called android app bundle or AAB so this new Android app bundle is essentially this whole APK right which has your 720p 1080p and 4k icon pack images Google says this is now an Android app bundle the developer uploads it to the Play Store it resides on the cloud and when I as an end user go to download it based on my screen resolution Google will dynamically decide that okay this device has a 720p screen resolution so they don't need the 1080p and 4k icon pack images so Google in the cloud is going to take that Android app bundle convert it into an APK with only 720p images and then deliver it to your device and that is what is going to be installed on your device so that is what Google is trying to do over here now how does this AAB change affect side loading so for starters let us see what side loading is side loading basically means that you can install any Android application on your device let us say 
some app is restricted on the play store for you based on your country region language whatever be the reason you have third party websites like say apk mirror apk pure wherein they have crowd sourced the uploading of applications so you download the apk from there and you can install it on your device that is what is known as side loading now once a new app comes with aa B. Right now, we do not have any application which say, you know, can install the AAB on your device directly. But as a developer, let us say I am a developer. As a developer, I can download this 720p variant or say 1080p variant or the 4K variant of my application's APK and I can distribute it. So the only issue which side loaders are going to face is that it is going to be difficult to find, say, the application which is correct for your device it's not like that i can you know adb pull the apk of the icon pack from my device and send it to somebody who has a 4k device i mean in this specific example it will install but the quality will not be as good so this was just like a simple example but that is the difficulty which you are looking at that it will be difficult to find an apk which is going to be compatible or perfect for your device but other than that side loading is not going anywhere until and unless google decides to pull the plug on apks totally and me personally i think by that time developers will come up with something to install aabs on your device or side load aabs directly that is something which might be coming down the line do not take my word for it but i think it will because android developers are super cool and super dope eventually so there it is peeps i hope that covered your queries about aab and side loading